how my students have benefited from this. They have actually learned a lot. They starting from the very beginning, or in fact, the major the major bulk of it was on conducting gestures, and it always, it always homes back to this idea of your conducting gestures needs to be natural, not just for the conductor, but also for the choristers who are singing, and also for the audience who is watching your performance, uh, which is. Essent, which is the essential points that I think my students are able to, brought back, to bring back. Of course, uh, Dr. Curry has, has brought in all the final points of how do you make these conducting gestures better and in terms of communicating with your choir. From well, a conductor point of view, I really like to see how there are new conductors coming up. And of course, and not just the young ones, but also the, <laughs> the more senior ones who are still willing to learn despite their seniority la, and which sets a very good culture for for the conducting scene. It sends a very uh, it sends a good message. I have learned a lot from the seminar. Uh, this is my third day here. So during the first day we got experience and interact with the choir as well as our local conductors. Now I've learned some basic knowledge about conducting so there is the frame, how the hand gestures, conductor participants. Uh, we have a good example on how you should do it and how to correct it correctly. I think that the seminar was very informative. So previously, like um, a few months back, I just started conducting and I have no idea what gestures to do, like what does the gestures mean. But like after this one, although it's really the basic technique, it teaches you the like it maybe it corrects the fundamental mistakes that most conductor will do will make. Yeah, so I think that one like I can bring home the information then when I conduct in front of the mirror or practice, I look back at what I've written and then I can double check, oh like if this makes sense or not. Yeah, it's really it matches it matches my expectations or even like it exceeds my expectations actually. Yeah, I didn't expect to learn so much with just like eighty dollars and I think <laughs> it's it's really worth the um, worth my time and the money here. Uh, hearing from my conductor are very familiar faces who actually learn more and be more active to ask questions. Yeah. I feel good about this seminar because as an observer, I get to observe the different conductors and their different ways of conducting. And indeed, uh, before I come to this seminar, I have gone through the, the scores and I thought of how to conduct. But, but looking at different style of conducting, it helps me realize that some of the way that I thought of doesn't work. Bit by observing other people, I learn more than uh, I myself standing there to conduct. Definitely, because we don't always get to have a chance to conduct the, the songs that we want to do. And um, especially, um, sometimes we don't have SATB choir. So we don't get to do um, the SATB choir repertoire. What I like about this seminar is that um, the clinician is very observant and uh, he would pinpoint each different conductor's um, um, way that they need to improve on. And it's not just a general that, oh, you have to do this, oh, you have to do this. No, he actually pinpoint, you have to do this. This is what you need to work on. That's the thing I like the most. And. Um, he makes it so easy to understand for us. Do you think that concerts should do more of the seminar? Yes, definitely. Yes, every year.